everybody. Andy here, and we're gonna play a little Valheim. It's been a while since I've even made a video like this, and I mean like three or four years at least, I think, but I've noticed a distinct lack of Valheim videos, uh, ASMR styles, and kind of just wanted to make one. So, I have decided to do so, and this, this is some pretty good timing, we're about to start a new day, I, I haven't actually played in a couple of days, and before I stopped I had a plan, I've been exploring the mountains a little bit recently, and they've been uh, pretty interesting and fairly adventurous expeditions, um, also very dangerous, but a lot of fun. However, I'm, I'm seeing my inventory's pretty full, and we can see here also, this is from a mod, the um, extra inventory slots for your, your gear and your armor and, and that kind of thing, just um, helps to free up a little room here, and maybe you could consider it a little bit uh, not by the developer's um, how they would like you to play the game, but it is an early access and, and more of a convenience thing I, than anything, so I didn't think it was too bad to, to add that mod, and that's the only one that really gives me any advantages, I uh, also have one that makes the whole, uh, UI look a little different, um, like the level of your weapons and tools is represented by stars now. Okay, enough chatter. I, th I think it's time. I, I'm just worried about my inventory space, but I think I don't want to worry about it. I'll maybe make a portal soon, or... Oh, speaking of portals, we need to put some of this ore away in my ship's storage. So, let's take a look at the map. I plan to take my boat from here over to here to explore in this mountain. As you can see, I've explored this one quite thoroughly, and, and this one as well. This one didn't really seem to have a whole lot, but anyway, let's, uh, let's just start boating. Let's start journeying forth. Um... And the wind is in our favor right now, which is nice. Oh. Cracking the boat off the rocks, never the best. Alright, it's looking like it's going to be a calm skies and by extension calm seas. So, I'm going to turn this wind just a bit. Take a look at the right hand side. That kind of gives you an indication of the wind and the direction, and you gotta kind of line it up, or you gotta line your boat up, I should say, with the direction of the wind, otherwise you kind of wind up dead in the water, so honestly it's not the best for us right now, but it's as long as the wind isn't in the dark zone of that ring on the right hand side. You can see it rotating as I move my view, but it's not a big boat ride anyway. We're already almost halfway there, if not more. We can see the the mountain, actually. We can see it on the horizon. That's the mountain that we're heading to. So I've been playing quite a bit of Valheim. It's been quite a bit of fun. I haven't played in a couple of days, but I'm a little surprised to see the lack of ASMR videos being created on it, which is kind of the main inspiration for this video. I figured if nobody else is going to do it, I'll give it a shot, I suppose. Maybe there's not a lot of demand for it, but a game that's only been out for two months or so and has already sold over six million, probably close to if not over 
7 million at this point is, well, needless to say, very surprising to me that it hasn't had more videos, uh, at least ASMR videos created on it. Now, I'm thinking we're actually going to dock where I'm sort of aiming towards there. Explore the, the field of meadow in front of us. Then make our way up the mountain. There's uh, usually any number of dangerous creatures. Now this is how I park my boat. I just kind of... There's a word for that when you run it adrift. It might even be called running it adrift, but... Yeah, I just kind of jam it into the shore. And seems to get the job done. Alright. So we should probably eat some food. And you can see down here we're cooking a little loaves. A little carrot soup and a little jam. Heck. Let's even eat some sausages. I think we can safely ignore these guys. We don't need to worry about them too much. We could hunt the boar or the deer. There were some resources, but I don't think it's too necessary at the moment, so. The chest is empty. That's a bit disappointing. This is my first time over here, I believe. Um, maybe not, actually. I think I did run through here earlier, but we did find a bit of stuff in this chest, but I actually, I actually don't want it. And where is it so close to our boat? I'm actually going to use it for storage of some other items. Uh, you know, this is probably good. Yeah. In fact, I, I'm going to hang on to those as well. So we could go explore that little dilapidated hut over there, but i got to be honest. I'm pretty uh, excited to check out this mountain, and uh, I'm going to activate the power of Ekthir. What that does is it uses less stamina when I'm running, like I'm kind of doing right now, to get towards this mountain. Just going to ignore these deer here. Okay, some raspberries. Nice to have. Oh, oh, we got something here. Is this guy gonna see see what he's got? Wow, we sent that gray dwarf absolutely flying. Uh, okay. The last mountain I explored was really tall, but not very flat. And the mountain before was really flat, but not very tall. And I'm kind of hoping this one is the really flat but not very tall one. Seemed to be the better one. Now, oh, I gotta get off that. I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of stone here. And the reason for this is because we're just gonna build a, a little campfire before we start climbing the mountain. Because building a campfire, let's build it right here will give us our rested bonus, and when we're rested, our stamina regenerates 50% quicker. I should have did it before I used the Ekthir power, but, well, it's too late for that now. Look at these boars there, as sure-footed as mountain goats. Wouldn't it be amazing if they coated it in the game so they could slip and fall down the mountain? I guess that's a little bit cruel, but I don't know why I'm trying to kick a fire. Forgive me. I'm just trying to deconstruct the fire. And it has been done. So now we're got, you can see in the top right, we got a rested bonus in conjunction with our Ekthir bonus. So they do a uh, combo well together because they both help your with your stamina regeneration, or at least effectively as one helps your stamina regeneration and the other helps your stamina depletion be less severe. So we have some nice 
Uh, I have wolf armor and a wolf cape and both of those things allow me to explore the mountains safely. This is a low chunk of mountain here. Now mountains are very, very dangerous indeed. There's wolves and and some other frightening creatures that, oh, speaking of wolves, there's one right there. They're very, very aggressive, but as long as you don't get caught off guard by a pack of them, they're usually not too bad, but they've certainly given me a run for my money. And there we go. If you get the good block bonus, you parry them and it stuns them for a brief moment, as you just saw. This is an interestingly low mountain. Perhaps it like, yeah, not a very, oh, do I hear a, I thought I, I think I hear a wolf somewhere. Let me just keep my ears peeled here. Well, I don't see anything, perhaps not, so. I believe the plan here is to effectively scout the perimeter is a, an interestingly laid out mountain. More boars. I was really like hanging out on this mountain. Basically anywhere you see snow, I think, counts as the mountain. What I'm hoping to find is maybe an ore vein up on the mountain top or, oh, speaking of which, should activate our wishbone. This wishbone, let's We'll read the flavor text. This ancient bone remembers the location of many forgotten things, so it actually detects the presence of ore veins and I believe some other secrets as well. And ore veins, um, sorry, silver ore veins are found only on mountains. This mountain is a lot more wide than it is tall. I've never seen a mountain quite like it, but to be fair, I've only seen maybe four or five mountains, or at least I've only traversed four or five mountains, but wow, it's, yeah, it's, look at it, it's a very long, very long mountain. We'll work our way up to the top, but for now I'm just going to kind of skirt the edges here. And we already only have four minutes left of our rested bonus, and we'll kind of <laughs> Looks like we're just gonna get stuck sliding down here. I can kind of hop up, but my stamina is not really going to allow for that at the moment, so and that's fine. Let's come through around here. Looks like we have a nice view over here. Let's just, yeah, it's nice. The water through the trees, and here we have a like a black forest biome. Okay, getting away from the mountain now. Let's not get distracted, which is honestly very easy in this game. Okay, let's get up here. Wow, yeah. Can we make it? No. Down we slide. Just gotta give it a second, really. All right. I'm excited to see what's up here. And usually the mountains, I find as soon as I start exploring them, there's chaos ensues shortly after, so perhaps this is just a quiet, serene mountain, not quite as, uh, not quite as frightful as some of the other mountains. It would be a nice mountain to build a home on. That's what I'm thinking now. It's like it doesn't even really stand up above the trees. In a way, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping it was going to be a tall mountain with some beautiful vistas and lovely views, but it's really not looking like that's going to be the case. There's no monsters. Seemingly, this mountain was inhabited by two wolves and and nothing more. It's getting a little rockier over here, at least. 
Let's get up on this peak here. Have we reached the highest point? No. Wow. Almost also, an awful lot of trees on this mountain. Pretty sure the other mountains didn't even have trees on them. What kind of trees are they? Just fir trees, nothing nothing special. Alright. Alright. Oh, look at that. There we go. Now can you sneak up on the drakes? Oh, I don't think I'll be doing it. They definitely saw me. Oh. Okay. Look at this one. Oh, now he's... Now he's noticed me. Okay. I think it's three drakes. The good news is they're usually not too tricky. I've taken one out, and I believe that will get the other. And... Four drakes? Oh my goodness. A moment ago I was talking about how there was... Oh, we should probably... Prepare ourselves for... A mere moment ago I was talking about how... Quiet this mountain was, and then... The next thing you know... You get attacked by a bunch of... Dragons. Okay. What type of arrows am I using? Oh, frost arrows. Good thing they're not overly resistant to frost. Also, I hope I don't have to fight too many more. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring quite enough arrows for this journey. I, I guess I just uh, must have overlooked it. Now, I believe I found everything that they dropped. They drop a lot of these freeze glands. Uh, Drake trophies, I think they might have dropped one or two of those as well. My arrested buff is got oh my gosh, another one. What are we at? This is five or six. Doesn't see me. Let's try to get a little closer. That would have been a spectacular shot. Now I don't really have the arrows here for this, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to am I gonna fall off the side here? Where'd he go? I want to hunt this drake. My goodness. Where in the heck did this drake go? How does a drake... <laughs> How does a drake simply disappear? Well... I guess is as good as mine, but it happened. So, rest of buff has been lost. And I do believe it would be wise to rest once again. And maybe have a little snack here by the fire. This jam always seems to hit the spot. And that's actually all that we can eat right now at the moment. But that's all we need. So, we are rested again. A little. Oh, did we get our, yeah, we got our stone back. You don't get your wood back. Because I think the logic behind that is it was burning to feed the fires. That's fair enough. Oh, if we look over there, it's a, uh, that is a gray dwarf spawner. And we could run down and kill it, but. I have no desire. I think I'm just going to kind of keep exploring the mountain. There's that drake again. Let's see if we can let's see if we can go back and get him. I was hoping to find more wolves and maybe in Oh, I think there's a dragon egg up here. Oh, he saw me. We have one arrow left. We're going to have to Try to kill this guy with our mace. Oh, he's so close to dead now. That's why there's so many. They were protecting the dragon egg. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. That's what I think I need to do. 
you sort of come down a bit like this. I put him in a decent spot, then I'll charge at him. Come on, we can do it. Oh no. Might not even be able to fight this this guy like this. We'll try again though, we'll come a little further down. If he comes along that way and we just run at him. Oh wow. Oh shoot. This could go very badly. I think we just might have to steal the egg and run. It's a good thing they don't hit very hard. Alright. I'm not sure what dragon eggs are good for, but... That's... that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna see if there's anything I can... can really craft any arrows. I think I can get close enough. Let's Oh my gosh. That was basically a miracle. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, it was a pretty satisfying mountain exploration after all. We're gonna pick up this dragon egg. Sometimes they're buried in the rock and you'll see my carry weight now. It's a 200 pound egg. However, I do have this thing called Megging Jord or something. And this will allow me to uh to carry it as it increases my carry weight a significant amount. Well I would have preferred to mine some ore, but I'm pretty sure our wishbone would have started going off if there was any on this mountain. And I think now we've basically explored it all. Killed some wolves, killed some drakes, made out with a dragon egg. All in all, I'd, I'd say that was a success and probably never going to need to come back to this mountain. There's a great dwarf brood here. Let's destroy him. Those guys aren't too threatening either, at least not to me at this moment. No room in inventory. Now... I don't think I need ancient seeds for anything. But do I want to take it with me? I think I do. I definitely don't need that Grey Dwarf Brute trophy. Actually, what I don't need is the rocks. And I do like to collect the heads of my enemies. Um, what we're gonna do now is get back on the boat, which is actually over this way, if I memory serves correctly. And I believe I'll take a nice boat ride back to base. We kind of got off the mountain at the perfect time. Once night falls, it can get a little bit more dangerous. It's pretty dark, and mountains are very slippery. The last thing I want is to slip down and break all the bones in my body. Okay, now where the heck, can I, I believe over here, another gray dwarf, this one is a shaman. They don't do a lot of damage either, neither does their poison, so. Now, as you can see, this is what happens at night time in Valheim. There's the boat, it just sort of, just sort of popped into view. I feel like even the more docile creatures get more aggressive. Uh, must be leather scraps that I'm not interested in. Not that boars are typically docile, but I think they become aggressive at a farther range when it's night. But that might just be on my head. Now I haven't, oh, what the heck is a skeleton doing over here? That's just, seems like the oddest spot for a skeleton. Let's uppercut him into the stratosphere. Alright. 
That's the end of him. I believe the chest was right here. I don't believe I need 10 money and 1 amber. I have an excessive amount of all of these things, so... Let's just get back on the boat. I'm not even too interested in the in the gray dwarves at the moment. I'll just ignore them and hopefully the wind is at our back when we set sail. Because if not, it can make the boating a little bit, just a little bit longer. We'll just push it out into the water and then maybe hop on like that. All right. Now can we double up on the dragon eggs? The dragon eggs, so it doesn't appear so. Alright. The gray dwarf seems to be attacking the boat, so. Where is he? I don't see him now. Okay, so. Right here is where my home is. And you'll notice there's actually a little skull there. That's because that was where I was most recently killed. I forget how, to be honest. I think it was something that's normally not, honestly, very troublesome, but where your bed is, which is also there behind the skull, that's a bed and a skull kind of overlapping. The icons are every week or so in Valheim, you'll be attacked at that location by some kind of random spawn, which I think they get more dangerous based on how far you've progressed and how many bosses you've killed, so. But usually they're not too troublesome, but uh, this one particular occasion, they were, I believe, certlings or skeletons, and I was just doing some home renovations or some cooking, something of the sort, and it was not very, it was not very prepared for their arrival, and I hadn't eaten anything, and your health is actually determined by what you eat, so they caught me off guard and made short work of me. I vowed to never let it happen again. But it probably will. Let's be honest. Well, we've been getting pretty lucky with our weather. Uh, once again, the wind is on our side and clear skies sailing back. I don't know if we'll make it home before daybreak. Oh my goodness, let's fight it. Oh wait, I don't have any arrows, so I'm actually not going to fight it. But look at this lovely sea serpent. And I have fought them before and killed them and they have wonderful meat. Oh, storms are brewing now. Okay, well we're actually almost there, so... Oh, we're still being chased by the serpent. Oh. Now, our wind isn't really on our side. Do you think the serpent will chase us to the shore? It actually looks like he's already given up. Well, that was the shortest lived storm of all time, I'd say. The wind has changed direction, but... It's still barely with us. Probably have to paddle to pull it in to the shore, but... And you'll see, whereas it's not quite as at our back as it was, it actually slows down how fast it pushes you. So a productive day, uh, ma mainly I've been, that's what I've been doing, is exploring the mountains to mine some silver to upgrade some of my armor, but I have the Drake helmet, 
the wolf fur cape, the wolf armor chest, and the iron grease, which is the armor tier below. But the uh, the wolf armor tier is the wolf is made with wolf hide and, and silver uh, primarily, whereas iron is made with iron primarily. As I'm sure you comes as a surprise to absolutely nobody. Oh. It's day 152, so we actually made it back just in time for morning. A whole day in Valheim. Honestly, I think that makes for a good a good spot to end things. But before I do, I will spend just a moment here showing you my home. I just have the one fermenter. Oh, and that's the first time I've gotten this tasty meat. It, the nectar of the gods, divine meat, lower health and stamina regeneration. Oh, wait, your stamina regenerates faster and your health regenerates slower. So I have three beehives. Um, I'll take you on the inside here first. That's my bed right there. My character's name is Grimlock, and this is my little workshop area. And my world's name is Cybertron. I have a couple of portals here. That one connects me to my circling cores. This one connects me to the approximate location of the bone mass. I come out back here. This is my stone cutter and grinding wheel there's my chimney and it's a quaint little spot i i'm no uh architectural mastermind but i'm pretty happy with it i just have some random carts and that's my garbage but i learned recently that it's too close to a workbench so nothing will actually despawn in there this is my just my storage area it's it's a work in progress but uh, yeah, this is it. It's a little, even for being a storage area, it's a bit controlled chaos, I suppose, is the phrase that comes to mind. And then I just have up here a little area that was going to become and may still become a, ma a uh, portal uh, zone, I guess. I'm going to build a couple portals just around the rune stone just because it was seemed like a nice location up the hill a little bit and uh, kind of out of the way of the main base. I, I'm not big on terraforming. I flatten the area a bit, but I like to try to, instead of just flattening the land and conforming the land to what I want to build, I like to build the thing I want to conform to the land, I suppose. Okay, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, as always, take care. <laughs>